everybody, Backyard Bullion here and welcome to another quickfire coin review sponsored once again by Europa Bullion who are a European gold and silver coin dealer and if you want more information about them there are links down in the description box below to their website. They were very generous to send me these five silver coins to showcase. We've already looked at the Dalmatian, the giraffe and now it's the turn of the timeless classic the Cook Islands HMS Bounty. Now this is a coin which has not fundamentally changed in design since the first time I saw one of these coins a about five years ago, but it's beautiful and it's worth always just revisiting year on year to see the absolute stunning design beauty and production quality of the New Zealand Mint. So here we have the 2022 edition of the Cook Islands HMS Bounty, which is of course an incredibly historic ship. It's got all of the history and uh, you know the, the mutiny on the bounty stories about it. It's one of those things that grips the soul of those that love to hark back to those times of history. And for me, I'm a big fan of that period of history and anything nautical from that period, I'm a huge fan of as well. It's absolutely stunning. And I love the way that it's framed on the wavy background of the seas. It's almost like you are looking at it down from up above on the seas of the Pacific. It's absolutely stunningly beautiful. And it's just simple. Like that's one of the reasons why this coin has not had to change design over its tenure. It's just well done and well made by the New Zealand Mint. Now I was looking actually to find mintage numbers on these and I, agreeably my, my research was limited by time constraints but I could not very easily or quickly find mintage figures on the 2022 editions. So if anybody has those or knows where they are then please do share those with me but beyond that I think we can all agree it's a stunning coin and one of the things I love about it as well is that it is just uh, simple and a lot of coins can be really busy and really over complicated but this one isn't. I love the way that they've you know kept the theme of the wavy pattern design on the back here uh, with Queenie. My only, uh, my only feedback on this coin I guess would be that it is a little bit boring on this side. There is just the Queen's head but you know every single coin can't be as busy and incredible as all of these other ones that are created with designs on both sides. That, that, that's not the point here for this coin because it sits actually at a very, very affordable range for such a beautiful coin. A lot of people automatically think that something like this is going to be a high premium coin, but actually when you factor in that it is beautiful, that it is part of history with the HMS bounty and it's got this allure to it and it's well made, it's actually dirt cheap, all things considered. There are US dealers selling this for $5 over spot. Of course, in the UK and in Europe, there are taxes to be factored in as well, but you can buy these for around 28, 29 pounds, which is a very good deal compared with some of the other coins like we've been featuring before, which are gonna be sitting at the 30, 35 uh, plus range. So this for me represents this really interesting coin. Uh, for the others that I've been asking myself the question, would you stack a monster box of them? No, but would you stack a monster box of these? I would, if I had the luxury to have as many coins as I would like in my life. Um, if somebody said to me, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would say the same, but if somebody said to me, would you like a monster box of these? Uh, yeah, I think I would. If I had the funds, if I had the volition, I think a monster box of these would look incredible. Can you imagine 500 of them just sat out on the table? That would be stunning. But, you know, we can live in a world of fantasy, I suppose. But my point here is that they are I think a coin which would appreciate or at least certainly hold potential premiums over time but at such a low premium over spot when compared with other you know minted issue coins from like the US Mint Eagles and so on take this over an eagle any day of the week yes please that is going to be a much safer bet for me so the Cook Islands is uh, sorry the Cook Islands HMS Bounty is a stunning coin and I love it and I'd love to know what you think about this coin as well. So please feel free to comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. Do you have one? Are you gonna get one? Do you have a date run, a collection of these coins? They're beautiful and a massive thank you once again to Europa Bullion for sending me through the 2022 edition. That's it for this quick fire coin review. Next week, we're gonna be looking at the Nui Turtle. So if you want to see that and you're not subscribed, then make sure you hit subscribe. And if you wanna get notifications, hit the alarm bell as well. Otherwise, that is it from me. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.